Well, it is the age of the celebrity chef, but while dozens of TV cooks try to impress you, my next guest, Annabelle Carmel, cooks to impress arguably your toughest critics, your kids. She's been doing it now for over 20 years. Annabelle specialises in cooking for kids under the age of five. She's just launched a new range of frozen meals for kids and she joins us now. Annabelle, good morning to you. To you right, they are the worst critics. <laughs> They are fussy sometimes, aren't they? They are. I think you kind of lose the world's live after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Many a frustrated parent in the kitchen trying to get their kids to eat the right things. Why is it so hard to cook for them? I don't know. I, mean, I lost my first child, unfortunately, and my second child was the world's worst eater. And I bless them for that because I wouldn't have my career. But I think we all start off with good intentions, and then this very small person is so obstinate, and you have to find ways, whether it's like, you know, kind of, disguising vegetables in a tomato sauce or mashing carrot into your potato or making like your own healthy fast food. There are ways though. We've seen the, the recommended diets too, well recommended by some at least diets, uh, changing for kids over the years. I'm not sure if you're familiar with a, a celebrity chef here in Australia, Pete Evans, who's been pushing a paleo uh, diet for kids recently. Yes. I'm not in favour of that. Uh, in fact, I work with researchers and uh, now the, the newest research is that children should be exposed to many different foods, mm. including things like peanut butter and eggs at an early age, i.e. six months, because it desensitises them to these foods. So the worst thing you can do is take out a food, unless of course your child is allergic to it, because it doesn't help and, and, and you really do need to give these foods early. You've of course made a career out of this. I notice you've got three kids of your own, all happy, healthy kids. What's your secret? My secret is that I, I give them food that is healthy but never compromises on taste. And a lot of parents make the mistake of, because they're so fussy, they end up giving them only four different foods. Mm. So what I've done here in Australia, and I'm so excited about it, is I've developed a range of frozen meals, 33 products from frozen food for babies, because after all, when babies eat most of the food that you buy in supermarkets, it's older than the baby by the time they eat it, wow. if you think about that. Scary. So it's, it's things like salmon and beef, and a lot of people don't realise that babies from six months need iron, need essential fatty acids. They're not getting it, because mm. the food that you give them in pouches does not taste good. Mm. So the children are just having the fruit and vegetables, but from six months they need iron. It's very important. So broadening their diet at an early age, is that one of the key mistakes that parents are making? Definitely. So children need many more things than you think they need at an early age because the only help from their mother has run out. Essential fatty acids are important for brain function. And iron and essential fatty acids are probably the two foods that children don't get enough of, but it's hard to make them tasty. Oh. It's all very well saying. And the thing is, everybody's telling you, oh, you know, there's 7 million obese people in Australia, but no one's actually telling you, well, this is the food you should give them. So I've done things like buttered chicken and the most delicious fish pie that I would eat myself. In fact, we're getting emails from adults who are buying it now, <laughs> which is fantastic. Chucking into them as well. Yes, and it's frozen. And interestingly, people have this misconception that chilled is better than frozen, but frozen locks in all the goodness. So really, you know, taking a chilled meal and putting it in the freezer is the worst thing you can possibly do. You're much better off buying can a frozen meal. Can I ask you this though? I'm sure there are parents watching now going, I've tried to give my kid butter chicken or some of those other mm -hmm. delicious meals that you mentioned, but they just won't eat it. Why are they going to eat your frozen meal? Well, first of all, this gives you an opportunity to try lots of things without having the frustration of spent an hour in the kitchen cooking it yourself. True. Which is good. And it's giving you so much variety. I mean, you know, we all like and dislike certain things, so this gives you the opportunity to try your child on all these meals. Plus, we've tested them all on hundreds and hundreds of children. And I've spent 23 years building up my range. I, I'm in Tesco and Sainsbury's in the UK, and I've become like the go-to person for children's food. I mean, I've written 40 books, and I'm, you know, I think I spent my whole life just thinking about what is it that children like. Mm. They like separation of food. They don't like anything that's too, too odd and too strange or too spicy. But I know what children like. I can get them to eat. Well, I can get any child you, to eat uh, anything. Unlock the secret for lots oh, of I families so. here in Australia. Thank you for coming in this morning. And good luck with your range of frozen meals. Thank you so much. They're going to hit the shelves here very soon. Oh, Thank no, you they're again. already here. They're already here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you again.